Good morning, everybody. Frankie, you get so many questions all the time, and you're the yes. best to answer them. So the rain has affected the gardens. It has, and I encourage people to, you know, to reach out, ask questions. If you see me in public, I love to speak <laughs> about gardening any time of the day. Of the, uh, day. Uh, and yes, it has been a really challenging season yeah. because we have seen a lot of rainfall for this season. But many plants have benefited. Your lawns are looking fantastic right now for the most part. Some have cinch bugs and grubs. Uh, but some plants out there are not doing so well. Okay, so let's take a look. Bianca's up first. She says, Frankie, what's wrong with my tomatoes? They're nine <laughs> feet <laughs> ten inches tall. Is yeah. that normal? The way I read that wasn't normal. Yeah. But is that normal? Let's take a look at the picture <laughs> of, uh, of her tomato plant. Uh, and this plant is a vine type tomato. So if you are growing tomatoes that are uh, determinate or indeterminate, okay. if you grow an indeterminate variety, it's a vine type, that will grow 8 to 10 feet. This is not wow. untypical. Got some good yields that are happening on there. If you want a shorter variety or a dwarf or bush type tomato, look for a determinate variety of tomatoes in the spring months. But that's, that's totally fine. That's cool. It's doing well. Got lots of moisture, lots of sun. You give that to a tomato and you get good tomatoes. And good tomato sauce. Yeah. Brian says, Frankie, I have tomato plants, but some of the leaves are starting to die. What do I do? The tomatoes are fine. The leaves, not so much. Yeah, so let's take a look at this. And you can see this is in a small container, and that's just the plastic cage that's around it. Uh, these pots are only about 10 inches. There's just not enough soil to sustain them. Mm -hmm. So this tomato plant has actually gone through a period where it's dried out, then been watered, dried out significantly for a period of time. That's what causes the yellowing. It doesn't look like it has any blight. So this is just really the size of the pot, not big enough. So next year, Brian, go to a bigger container. I always say about a 16-inch diameter. It should fit a 30-liter bag of soil oh. for, a tom for a tomato. Really did. Yeah, they're big plants. Tomatoes are big plants. Okay, Katie says, oh, it's regarding her lilac. Mm -hmm. She noticed that it's dying. She looked closer. She found bugs all over it. Not sure how to get rid of them. She did try spraying with dish soap and water, but it doesn't seem to be working. Any ideas? Yeah, so there's a look at the lilac, and you can see those little almost black bumps that are there. That's scale. So underneath that scale, that's that's a female, is there's little tiny insects. The good Ooh. news is right now those insects are starting to emerge out and before they start sucking, now is the time to start to treat with either a horticultural oil and or an insecticidal soap. She treated earlier on, but they were underneath that shell and that's why they were protected and it wasn't working. Would dish soap work there at this dish point? Dish soap and water, bug okay. be gone is something that you can use as well. An insecticidal soap or a horticultural oil. The time to treat any scale and magnolia scale has been big this year too is right now. now and I have that on my Facebook page too for okay. more information. Great. We only got to a few but thank you for taking the time Frankie. Yeah. We've run out of time at Frank Ferragini for more and thanks for your questions.